Hey guys, how's your video going? This is Jacer. Uh, in this video, I'm going to solve another question on BigFrontend.dev. It's support negative array index. It's very interesting, so I want to do it first, then the other uh, problems. So it's on BigFrontend.dev. There is a lot of frontend uh, problems. So it should be 88, I think. 88. Mm, yeah, support negative array index in JavaScript. Obviously, JavaScript doesn't support negative index, right? Why Python does. Okay, so we need to write a wrapper function to make it possible. Uh, this is original array, one, two, three. We wrap it and return something object or array. Uh, it should return array like, not something like array. And we can access through directly index. Well, this is uh, as we usually do. And uh, three, index of three, this fourth element, which is undefined, okay? And here's the interesting part. We need to support negative index like minus one. Minus one, this is zero. So minus one, we go to the end. This is minus one, minus two, minus three. And minus four, it's undefined. Cool. And all methods on the array should be applied to the original array. It means we could push to this array. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then uh we could act like we, we push like we push four we now we can access this four through index of three and also we can access uh the four directly from the original array right yeah it means actually the original array should hold the data and then we could shift mm -hmm. after we shift the first element will be two so we can access through this new array or the original array okay we can access we can also uh, create a new property called BFE. It is also a, a, a reflected on the original array because array is an object. We can add, add new properties direct to it. And then, yeah, after this is all done, we can access minus one, uh, uh, index of minus one. Uh, so it should be five. Uh, no, we set it to five. This is a set. This is not access. So we set minus one to five. It means the 4 is replaced, right? Replaced with 5. So we now we get 2, 3, 5. Yeah, the original array is 2, 3, 5. And then we say we uh, modify this original array, uh, the second element, uh, one to uh, last element to 6. So it's become 2, 3, 6. And the original array becomes, uh, this is a new array, the original array of obviously 2, 3, 6. And it's also reflected to this uh, new object. Why this is very interesting, first, the naive solution might be we just uh, add these new properties, right? We just add new property of minus one and set it to the new value. But the values are uh, primitives, like numbers. So it, it's going to be very hard for us to sync the values, right? We might This might be easy to, to implement, but when we say we push something, when we push and uh, it's kind of become uh, impossible, right? Like if if it is a two different array or different objects, we said like so we said uh, five to the last element, and because it's a uh, it's a primitives right we act they are different, so we need to do something do, do something uh, we need to how can how should I interpret this um, we need to do something uh, to reflect the change to the original data while we are accessing or setting this minus one, right? So this cannot be done uh, through the, uh, the normal like properties, right? We could use getter or setter, but that's only for a certain uh, property. Like uh, there's only one minus one, it's okay, but we have a lot of one, like minus one, minus two, minus three, it's dynamic. It's depending on uh, the original race net. So here, it should be something about the proxy. So we actually, we if we uh, look at the example here, we already know, we already know that this array must act something like a proxy, right? You see, it actually has the push, has the shift, and it it reflects the data to the original array. So it's a proxy, and actually, it doesn't hold the data. It just uh, it just like uh, fetch the data. Uh, while we are accessing the data through the index or setting the data back to the original data, original array, right? 
So it's a proxy. So we return a new proxy. Return new proxy. And the target is this array. And we are actually using, uh, uh, we are getting the data and setting the data. So we intercept with the get and set, right? This is a get, and this is a set. While well, before we doing, before we do anything, we just uh, proxy the get set to the original object uh, array, and then see what happens. <clears throat> we get, we return the data uh, target prop. A return target. Oh no, not return here, but uh, target prop equals of set. There should be a value. Value. Okay, that's the basic proxy. Let's see what happens. Uh, of course, it's failed, but you see some of them are actually working, like non-negative index should be support. Cool, and array should have the same prototype for the array. This is good. Uh, the negative index should be supported. It's, uh, it's not working. Okay, so we need to handle the uh, negative index at the props, right? The props will be uh, a string, so let's parse it into parse it to index first, uh, number first, right? Let's say the index would be uh, parse int uh, prop uh, ten, right? Cool. If it's negative, then the real index will be like x minus one. The real index will be two, right? Minus two, it be could be uh, one. So the real index will be the nth plus pot plus it. So if it's negative, we will plus. Okay, I, I set it to const. It's not working. Uh, should be array dot nth, and then we just return it, right? If it's overflow, it's okay. We just return undefined. Yeah, R index, not A R. We already target here, so we target index. If it's not negative, we just return uh, the prop from the target. So it's okay. I think it should work here. Uh, for, uh, now this test case should work. Um, let's do the same for the set. Pass R and T. Uh, yeah, this is the real index, and uh, we set it to the value, right? And it return. And here we return. True. I think this is, is needed for to. Okay, I don't remember actually. Let's try. Yeah, the negative index is now doing good, but expected function should. Mm, Set a negative index leading overflow should throw error. Minus five should throw an exception. Ah, oh, I see. When we set a get, it's okay, it's undefined. But when we are set it, there will, if the index is too big or to, like uh, negative, it's not good, right? Okay, so uh, if we're setting uh, like an index for the positive number, like 1000, it should work. We only throw an error if it index is smaller than zero. It's still zero, uh, smaller than zero. Okay, uh, throw an error, throw new error. Okay, index is overflow. Okay, the message doesn't matter here, I think. This should be some <laughs> other message. Okay, so here works, should work. Cannot convert a symbol value to a string. This should work. Hmm? What does it mean? Uh, this should work, type array cannot convert a symbol value to a string. If it's a symbol, right? Uh, this doesn't work. Uh-huh, so the prop it's a symbol. When the ah when we're doing something like this, it's actually the iterator. So the prop actually here is not only the string, it might be some uh, uh might be the iterator symbol, right? 
So if say prop, okay, this is for if it is used used as iterator iterable. So the prop should be simple dot iterator. If something like this, the simple iterator actually is a function, right? Well, this function actually should be bound to the uh, the original. When we are when we are iterating through this proxy, we actually need to uh, iterate through the array. So we return a new one, right? When we're getting the function, we need to get the function bound to the original array. So it should be uh, what it is it. So it should be a uh, target. A symbol. Okay, we just do prop and bind target. So this, so this uh, function will now not have uh, the, uh, this keyword set to this proxy itself. Okay, so it should work. Hmm. Okay, set on proxy trap return false shift for it. Okay, yeah, that's what I. That's what I mean. Um, we need to actually return true to signify, uh, to uh, to to tell that we have succeeded in setting the value. So return true here. If this error, it, it, we just throw. Cool. Yeah, love it. Okay, we submit it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Interesting one. Uh, in daily work, I think uh, uh, we seldom use this proxy by ourselves, right? But it shows us these problems. Shows us how powerful proxy proxy is. Yeah. So please have a try. It's mm, it's very interesting. Okay. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.